Psycho-Cybernetics, written by Maxwell Maltz, Chapter 3. Imagination, the first key to your success mechanism. Practice exercise. Hold a picture of yourself long and steadily enough in your mind's eye, and you will be drawn toward it, said Dr. Harry Emerson Fosdick. Picture yourself vividly as defeated, and that alone will make victory impossible. Picture yourself vividly as winning, and that alone will contribute immeasurably to success. Great living starts with a picture held in your imagination of what you would like to be, to do, or be. Your present self-image was built upon your own imagination pictures of yourself in the past, which grew out of interpretations and evaluations which you placed upon experience. Now you are able to use the same method to build an adequate self-image that you previously used to build an inadequate one. Set aside a period of 30 minutes each day where you can be alone and undisturbed. Relax and make yourself as comfortable as possible. Now close your eyes and exercise your imagination. Many people find they get better results if they imagine themselves sitting before a large motion picture screen and imagine that they are seeing a motion picture of themselves. The important thing is to make these pictures as vivid and as detailed as possible. You want your mental pictures to approximate actual experience as much as possible. The way to do this is to pay attention to small details, sights, sounds, and objects in your imagined environment. One of my patients was using this exercise to overcome her fear of the dentist. She was unsuccessful until she began to notice small details in her imagined picture. The smell of the antiseptic in the office, the feel of the leather in the armchairs, the sight of the dentist's well-manicured nails as his hands approach her mouth, etc. Details of the imagined experience and imagined environment are all important in this exercise for all practical purposes because you are creating a practice experience. And if the imagination is vivid enough and detailed enough, your imagination practice is equivalent to an actual experience insofar as your nervous system is concerned. The next important thing is to remember that during the next 30 minutes, you will see yourself acting and reacting appropriately, successfully, Ideally, it doesn't matter how you acted yesterday. You do not have to try to faith you you do you do not have to try to have faith you will act in the ideal way tomorrow. Your nervous system will take care of that in time. If you continue to practice, see yourself acting, feeling, being as you want to be. Do not say to yourself, I'm going to act this way tomorrow. Just say to yourself, I'm going to imagine myself acting in this way now. 30 minutes today. Imagine how you would feel if you were already the sort of personality you want to be. If you have been shy and timid, see yourself moving among people with ease and poise and feeling good because of it. If you have been fearful and anxious in certain situations, see yourself acting calmly and deliberately, acting with confidence and courage, and feeling expansive and confident as you are. This exercise builds new memories and stored data into your midbrain and central nervous system. It builds a new self, a new image of self. After practicing it for a time, you will be surprised to find yourself acting differently, more or less automatically and spontaneously, without trying. This is as it should be. You do not have to take thought or try to make an effort now in order to feel ineffective and act inadequate. Your present inadequate feeling and doing is automatic and spontaneous because of the memories, real and imagined, you have built into your automatic mechanism. You will find it will work just as automatically upon positive thoughts and experiences as upon negative ones. Key points to remember, you fill in here. One, two, three, four, five. Case history. List here some experience out of your past that is explained by the principles within this chapter.